So the Ghana Premier League 2024 is getting to an end. Just two games to complete the season. But we have new champions. There will be new engravings on the Ghana Premier League trophy. And it is Samatex of Western region of Ghana. Samatex. And they are the new champions of the Ghana Premier League. I'm sure uh, those of you who follow the Ghana Premier League religiously like we do, may have heard about Samatex. For those of you watching from across the world, this is a club that was promoted into the Ghana Premier League barely two seasons ago, and they survived relegation by the skin of their teeth last season. That is the first season of their participation in the league. But they have gone on to win the Ghana Premier League with two games to spare. I'm talking about Samatex. This is the club, and they are based in the Western region of Ghana. Uh, particularly the Western North uh, area. The reason why Samatex have become the champions of the Ghana Premier League is not because the other clubs did not put up a stern competition or uh, there was not uh, the sort of competition that would have given them a run for their money, but because Samatex, I had said in 2022 when they were promoted that they were a club with sound footing and strong foundation so i'll run you through how they have uh, come this far but before that so we will look at the winners of the ghana premier league uh, since it commenced or started in 1958 a year after our independence so the ghana premier league uh, winner list from 1958 if we can go through quickly 1958 league the maiden edition of the league played here was won by Accra Hass of Folk. In 1959, was won by Asante Kotoko. 1960, was won by Second D. 11 Wise, the first club from the Western side to annex the Ghana Premier League. In 1960, uh, was won by Wise. 61 62 season was won by Accra Hass of Folk again. That was their second trophy. In 1962 63, the trophy was won by Real Republicans. And uh, this was a club that was owned by. Uh, Ghana's first president, um, Osagefo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So uh, they won it for the first time, Real Republicans, Osagefo's own club in 1963. In 63-64 season, Asante Kotoko came back again uh, to win the Ghana Premier League. In 1964-65, Asante Kotoko uh, repeated uh, by winning the trophy. In 1966, it was won by mysterious Ebusuyan Dwarves. In 1967, Asante Kotoko won their fourth trophy. In 1968, Asante Kotoko again. 1969, Kotoko again. They had won six now. In 1970, Great Olympics won their first trophy. In 71, Accra Sofu came back to win the league. In 1972, the Ghana Premier League went back to Kumasi Asante Kotoko. In 1973, it was won by Hearts of Folk. In 1974, for uh, Accra Great Olympics with their second trophy in 1975 Asante Kotoko won it back for the eighth time in 1976 he returned to Accra House of Folk in 1977 second D 11 wise uh, had won it in 1963 in 1970 uh, seven, it went back to the Western region this time with their arch rivals, Sekendi Hazakes. In 1978, Accra Hasso Folk won it, 79 Hasso Folk. 1980, Asante Kotoko, 81 uh, Asante Kotoko again. 1982, it went back to Kumase Asante Kotoko. 1983, when Kotoko won the African uh, Club Championship, now Calf Champions League. They had also won the league, so it was a double for them in 1984. It went back to Accra Hass of Folk, 1985 Hass of Folk, 1986 Asante Kotoko won their 13th league title in 1987. The trophy went back to Asante Kotoko in 1988-89 season. Asante Kotoko won it in 1989 1990. The trophy went back to Accra Hass of Folk, and that was their 10th uh, league title uh, that they won this time from Asante Kotoko. So the trophy had been shifting between Asante Kotoko and House of Folk. So you reach 1989-1990, the trophy was won by Accra House of Folk. In 1990-1991 season, the trophy came back to Kumase and this is where it, it, it all started. Asante Kotoko won it in 19... 1990-1991 Asante Kotoko again in 1991-1992 Asante Kotoko 1992-1993 Asante Kotoko won it back again in 1994 the trophy uh, now had gone back 
to Ashanti Gold, who were winning the maiden edition of the professional league then. So they won the maiden professional league 1993-94. 1994-95, Ashanti Gold won it again. 95-96, Ashanti Gold then, uh, Obuasi Gold Fields. 1996-97, Accra has a folk won the league. 1997-1998, Accra has a folk again. 1998-1999, Accra has a folk. 1992-2000, Accra has a folk again. Then 2000-2000, 2001 that's 2001 Accra House of Folk 2002 Accra House of Folk then Asante Kotoko came in 2002 203 league to win it um, for the first time in as many years since Ashanti Gold and Accra House of Folk had taken center stage of the league so in 19 in 2004 it went back to uh House of Folk again in 2005 Asante Kotoko won it back in 2006. The Ghana League uh, was won by House of Folk in 2007-08. Asante Kotoko with Bashir Hayford won it in 2008-09. House of Folk won it back again. Uh, Mahatma Otu and Likes in 2009-2010. Uh, Diana Stars were the champions. They were the first team to have won the league on their first attempt. They were promoted in 2010 and they won the Ghana Premier League in 2010. In 20 uh, 10 2011 the trophy was won by Brekum Chelsea in 2011 2012 Asante Kotoko 2012 2013 back to Asante Kotoko again in 2013 2014 the trophy was won by Asante Kotoko 2015 it went back to Obuase Ashanti Gold and this time around they had been fighting for the league in 2010 before Chelsea uh, 2010 11 Chelsea won it um, I remember David Duncan's day so they won it back in 2015 under Bashir Hayford in 2016 the trophy went back to Wa All Stars uh, 2017 Adriana Stars won their second trophy in 2018 the tournament or championship was cancelled uh, because of the Anas expose in 2019 Asante Kotoko won it in 2020 the championship was cancelled because of COVID-19 in 2020 2021 Accra House of Folk won it 2021-2022 the trophy went back to Asante Kotoko then in 2022-2023 Mediama Sporting Club won it also from the western side and in 2024 the trophy has stayed uh in the western part of ghana this time with summer text then i said we will be going into the details of how they won it so this is the home venue of summer text and what uh, has the club been doing in recent years uh this is the home venue of summer text it's known as the in century sports complex in century sports complex uh named after the bank ruler of the club richard in century uh we will pretty much have a time for him in this um, episode to talk a bit about what is done and contribution for the club and the region as a whole but this is their home venue in Samatex. so basically Samatex is a club that is owned by the timber uh, processing factory the biggest timber processing factory in west africa Samatex. Uh, this is the name of the company so it's a timber processing uh, company and they have formed this club uh, since 1996 to compete in the Ghana Division One League, they have been chasing promotion in the Ghana Premier League for so many years until they finally uh, got that uh, victory in 2022 to play in the Ghana Premier League. See, they only got promoted just two years ago, and this is the club. So when they unveil a new player, when they recruit a new player, the player is expected to do what? Go to the timber factory. That is where the player is unveiled. So in your shot is a player who has been unveiled by the club in the 2022-2023 season. It's the biggest timber processing factory in West Africa. And the club uh, is owned by this timber processing factory. And a bit more on that. Any player who signs for this club, Samatex, is recruited as a staff of the Timber Company. So they, they do not have the football club as a separate entity. They have the Timber Company and every player who registered for the club is also put on the payroll of the Timber Company. So every member of, uh, of the conglomerate is a member or a staff of the Samatex Company that is what it does for them so the regularity of their salaries and allowances and the pension and all the insurances available to the staff of the timber company 
is also available to the players and so there is no difficulty for them one interesting thing about them is that because they are a timber company everything in their stadium virtually 90 percent of it is made by wood so in your shots is the lounge of the stadium they have a, a pretty cool stadium in there just like 5000 capacity stadium in summer tech summer boy and this is the lounge where everything there is made of woods and uh, this is the stadium i will show you the stands also uh, virtually made of woods but for the exception of uh possibly the the seats and other things in there so this is a summer tech stadium and the seats are made of woods and uh, certainly something that is uh, quite admirable about them and uh, they they have a couple of um, interesting facts about the team that we will be going in uh, pretty shortly but one thing again about them is that summer techs have competed for a long time in the ghana division one league than they have done in the premier league and in the league they have played 32 games 32 games this season they won 18 and uh, they drew four and lost 10 they still have two games to go, to go but they have won the league with two games to spare they scored 41 goals and have conceded 24 thus far they are still in there to uh, annex the trophy coronation they are declared champions or they are the champions elect at this point but they are just waiting for the coronation official coronation so this is another picture for their from their stadium that's the lounge or the vvip lounge you can clearly see how everything there is made of woods and bamboo uh, from the seats to the drinking uh, bowls to the bar set and everything in there quiet nicely done because the club is owned by a timber company and then we come to the uh, the bank roller of the club mr richard in century who has been very instrumental so you can see him in the shot there he uh, celebrating the club's uh, victory this was when they got their goal against bbn goal stars today uh, he's always been ever present quite a busy man but some attacks have come this far because of the, the the contributions of this man mr richard in century a very very ardent lover of the game he was winner of the ceo of the year or club chairman of the year uh, at the 2022 uh, Ghana Football Awards and um, I'm sure that he's quite going to repeat this for what he's done for the club so this is Mr. Richard in century he is the bank ruler of the team and also a, a director of the timber company at uh, Summer Tex or Summer Boy and one thing also about the club is that it is only one of the few companies one of the few companies that's a summer tech timber processing company to generate their own electricity so the clubhouse is powered by sawdust from the timber processing factory they do not rely on the national grid so they have ever present electricity something that's quite interesting about them they have electricity throughout the the, the year throughout the years that uh, they, they, are, they are going to stay there at the clubhouse because the electricity is produced by the summer tech timber processing company with sawdust that, that is the byproduct of the timber so they use that to produce electricity and not only for the factory and the clubhouse where the players stay also for parts of the town or the city of summer tech is powered by the sawdust from the timber processing factory so if you see the player in there that is the venue for his unveiling because the club is owned by a timber processing factory they are always um, trying to associate themselves and also market how far the club's uh, sponsorship or partnership or ownership has um, helped in in trying to promote the timber processing factory as well as the football so the finances from football goes back to the timber processing whilst the profit from timber processing also comes in to help the team in terms of, of football now they have qualified for the calf champions league they have qualified for the calf champions league and we look forward to how summer techs will fare uh, against uh, the other clubs in there uh, we recently watched how they defeated um, Accra House of Folk and Asante Kotoko. Both clubs have suffered in there at the hands of Summer Tex at their home venue. They are very invincible. So they, they call the home venue as a fortress. This is when they played against House of Folk uh, a season ago. So Summer Tex have been very, very busy when you visit their home venue. Their invincibility there is as a result of how the fans have come behind them. And you can see from behind the in the background green 
between gold there was also a gold uh, manufacturing or a gold uh, processing company in the gold mining uh, company there who have also partnered uh, with uh, the Samatex company to provide finances so it's one of the best finance clubs in the country and a lot of people may not have come to know this i have um, followed the club since they were in the division one league the coaches the players do not go through the kind of stress that other clubs subject their players to because the fans are readily available they had to put up their stadium within three or four months and had a very nice uh, stands and lounge and uh, turf everything was so nicely done for the club to have their first uh, premier league game in summer text unlike uh what pertains at other venues they have uh, really done enough for their field and the pitches uh, uh the pitch at the venue is uh, one of the best uh, to me uh, despite the rains in recent times and western region being known for a place where it rains quite a lot but you can uh, see that summer techs have really done enough for themselves and they are deserving champions of the ghana premier league uh, winning it for the first time we will be looking forward to seeing how summer techs face uh, when they get to the CAF Champions League, which will be very, very tough for them. Obviously, this will be the first time that they compete at this higher level. And I'm not sure that they, the stadium has gotten approval from CAF yet, but it looks uh, pretty sure that Samatex competing in the CAF Champions League will do so uh, either in Kumasi Babayara Stadium. If their venue is not certified by CAF, Samatex will have to do with Babayara Stadium, which I, I have heard has been the pre preferred uh, choice of the club in case they are in century sports complex it's not certified by CAF so that's pretty much it um, some background to the new Ghana Premier League champions uh, who have acquired players from House of Folk from Asante Kotoko and some of the top talents in the country including their coach Nuruddin uh, who has led them to their first ever Ghana Premier League trophy uh, congratulations to them to the board members Mr. Edmond Aka uh, who was a former management member of Asante Kotoko has gone there to help the team secure promotion into the Premier League and now win the Ghana Premier League within their first two years of competing quite an incredible achievement and something that uh, will only come as a result of um, sound investment and management uh, expertise that has um, uh, colored or clothed the club in in the last two years that they competed in the league thank you very much for watching so in case you don't know this is your new champion of the ghana premier league and they will be waiting for the coronation maybe around the 14th of june and we will be summer boys summer techs uh the timber boys uh, the timber processing factory in ghana uh, who have uh, owned the club and the club has gone on to win the ghana premier league thank you very much for watching